motions after the match, just, just you can sort of try to articulate those, what you were, what you were feeling. Um, yeah, obviously, it's just, it meant a lot to me. I was just so happy to have won. You know, it was a tough match. I knew, you know, she's playing well. And, um, yeah, I just... I was just really happy, you know, with the way that I was able to handle my emotions and just fight through every point. So, yeah, I was just so happy that I won. Which is more about winning that match against her, beating her, or about making it to a quarterfinal for the first um, time? Of course, making it to the quarterfinals is one. But, of course, I, against her, I mean, I'm happy. But, uh, no, I mean, she played such a tough match. I mean, she has, I mean, she's really good. And, I'm, yeah, I'm just, just so happy to have won. And, yeah, a lot of emotions, as you said, were after the match. And it's my first quarterfinal. And, yeah, it's just I think anyone would get pretty emotional for the first time. What were the challenges of playing her the, for the first time? given how well she's been doing and maybe a new rivalry? Um, I mean, of course, yeah, it's different. She's 15. Um, it's a little bit with the age difference. And, of course, she has a lot of hype and everyone's, you know, she has a big name. Obviously, she's playing well. So, um, yeah, I just try not to let that get the better of me. Just try and take it like any other match. And, yeah, just focus on myself, focus on my game. And, yeah, just grind it out, basically. <laughs> What were you most, uh, aside from the mental aspect of it that you've talked about a little, what, what were you most pleased with about the way you played out there today? Uh, um, I think just because I, I found a way. You know, first set, just a few a few points didn't go my way, of course. I made some unforced arrows, but she was obviously playing really well, came up with some really good shots at those crucial points, serving really well. Um, yeah, I mean, she, she played really well, so it was tough. But, yeah, just with the fact that I was able to hang in there and fight and not not give up. Um, in that first tiebreaker, uh, you had a couple double faults. You weren't maybe at your best. Do you think it was nerves at that point a little bit? Uh, yeah, for sure, nerves. Um, yeah, I was obviously pretty nervous, but I tried to somehow handle it well. And, of course, first set didn't really show that, but, like I said, she played well, and, you know, credit to her, She, like I said, she played well. Um, you have mentioned the hype from Cory Goff. Um, was it okay for you that she was a bit more hyped during the tournament than you, or do you would have expected a bit more also media about you because your development is so great last months and years? Um, no, I mean I'm happy that she's doing well. You know we're all supporting each other for you know. Um, I d try not to let that get in my head. I try to just you know block it all out and just do what I do best. And yeah, I mean yeah, the hype is for her. She's obviously done great stuff, of course. Uh, it's absolutely normal, but uh, just try not to let that get in my head. So now starts your hype? I guess, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but um, yeah, I, I, of course I didn't do it for the hype. I did it for myself because I wanted to prove to myself that I can do it, and yeah, I've done it, so. Finally, I was waiting, what are you going to ask? <laughs> well, everybody else get their questions in. Right. But coming off, going off of that question, though, uh, you know, you've had, especially in the last 12 months, played against fellow Americans very, very well. Uh, you know, you had the win over Serena and the French and everything, and you finished the year number two American, um, and yet still seemingly kind of under the radar, uh, maybe. Th does that give you some motivation when you take these stages to, to kind of show people what, what Sonia Cannon can do? Yeah, of course. I want to show who I am and show my best tennis and show why I'm there, why I belong, and I'm doing that, so I'm just, yeah, I'm happy. After losing the first set, what did you say to yourself to sort of keep yourself in the match and come back and, and dominate the rest of the way like you did? Um, well, I knew it was a few minor details, you know. Um, I felt like I wasn't returning so well. I missed a few opportunities, but of course she served really well. Um, I knew I needed to somehow try and break her serve and hold my serve. Um, I think I served pretty good overall, which obviously helped me. And um, yeah, I'm happy that I was able to do that because her serve, it wasn't easy. So um, yeah, I knew I needed to hold my serve to make sure I'm, you know, in the match and then somehow try to break her serve and hold my serve. On the American front, the tight race for the Olympics this year, and you're in a good shape for it. I'm curious just how much of a, of a motivating factor that is for you um, this year. Yeah, I would love to play the Olympics. I know it's obviously on the line, um, but I'm trying not to like focus on that. You know, there's a lot of tournaments before. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to right now just enjoy the moment. And yeah, I guess I'm in the race for Olympics, which is great. And I guess I hope I can just keep it going. Uh, what aspect of your game do you really like the most? Um, I mean, I don't know. I like my drop shots, I guess. <laughs> But, um, I mean, everything. I feel like I, I dictated well, and that was obviously needed for today in order to win. And, um, yeah, that's good.
Maybe you are not on, on the hype every day, but I keep receiving pictures of you from art sides, who must be a friend of yours, since you were <laughs> five years old. So I'd like, I have hundreds. I mean, yes. is he doing a press uh, officer for you in a way? Or um, I mean, we're just good friends. Uh, I've known him for, I mean, I don't know how old I was when I met him, but obviously he's been there through my matches and everything. So, yeah, he sends a lot of pictures to so many people. I'm getting emails and stuff, like over 100 people. I'm like, okay, I don't even know half of these people. Or, but, yeah, I mean, he's good. He, yeah, he's good. <laughs> As you said, uh, you are returning, returning very well. In terms of strategy, was there anything special, or uh, was it a good read? Today, was for it? yes, today, yes. Um, I am honestly like I knew it was going to be a tough match. I knew I needed to somehow battle out there. Uh, yeah, I knew when she was serving well, so I knew I needed to somehow get my returns in and um, hold my serve and just fight for every point. I mean, she's a really tough player. She's not easy to play and. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't much of a tactic. Obviously, just play my game, dictate, but it wasn't something different of a tactic that I do normally than any other match. What are your thoughts on your next opponent? Um, I mean, it's, I don't know. Um, it's going to be a good matchup, I, I hope. Uh, I've played her in Mallorca last year, and I mean, I know her game pretty well, but she's playing well, and it was funny. After the match, like, we're both biking next to each other, and she's like, good job. I'm like, you too. And then she's like, it was just funny. It was like a funny moment. And she's like, are you feeling tired? I'm like, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> so uh, she's like, yeah, me too. I'm like, okay, I'll see you on today's uh, Tuesday. See you on Tuesday then. What about her style? She likes drop shots too. Yes, I know. She, I'm always prepared for those drop shots. She has really good hands. Uh, she's, a, she's a tough player. It's not going to be easy. And, of course, you know, at this level where we are, at the quarterfinals, she's obviously going to bring her best game, I'm going to do my best to bring my best game as well. Your intensity on the court is always so clear. I'm just curious if you ever allow yourself to relax off court, and, and if so, how? Off court or yeah, like? Did you, ever sort of, you do anything where you kind of like chill? Cause no, of you, course you, I chill, but during okay. the match, no. No, obviously. during the match, of course. No, I've but. had experiences. When I was little, I'm, I was winning like 5-1, 5-2, and I lost the match. So uh, I know I, need, I can't, it doesn't matter what the score is, I can literally lose at any moment. So uh, yeah, uh, that's why my dad's kind of making sure I'm keeping my, you know, my head together. What do you, what do you, off court, what do you do to relax? What I did what, after? No, just in general, what you do in life to, to switch off. I mean, try not to watch tennis, obviously. Um, check out everything, my media, oh my God, it's like blowing up right now, so I haven't even had time to answer anyone. But um, yeah, just, I try to relax, obviously, but obviously tomorrow we have doubles, so I need to prepare for that. And then singles back again. It's kind of hard to completely relax when you're during a tournament, especially at a slam. I had a quick question about your racket. Is that a, a standard paint job that they have? Or uh, yeah, did you I, request it? Or um, like, no, they just okay. said they. You, do you want to be the um, the girls? You know, representing America. You know, having an American racket. So I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> I want to. So, yeah. Everyone was asking me during preseason, like, oh, did you switch rackets? I'm like, no, no, it's Babolat. I'm still with Babolat. <laughs>